In today's guide, we're going to go over Rhythmic Trader, specifically the quote board. On my screen here, you can see that I have the quote board pulled up. What you may notice right off the bat is that some of my contracts aren't showing any data, and that's because I have the December of 2010 contract here. So the first thing we'll go over is changing your contract for when months roll over. I'm going to enter the new month code and the new year code, and I should start to get data. M is June, 1 is 2011, and as I update these, you can see I start to get my data. Now, the next thing we should probably go over is applying labels. As you can see, if you have a lot of these on the quote board, it gets kind of confusing about where things are. Now, these here are all currencies, so I'd like to label this area currencies. So I can click on the row that I want to put my label above, Euro Dollar, and then after I've selected that row via a left click, I'm going to right click that row and go to Insert Label. There, I'll just insert currencies as the name of my label. And being that it's the same color as these other ones, these trade ones, I can right click it and go to back color and give it a different background color. In this case, I've been using dark slate gray. And that way it gives it a little bit of offset so I know what I'm looking at here. Reordering these things is as easy as clicking a column, holding down, and dragging it to where you want it to be. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and roll over these contracts as well, just so we have the data coming in. There we go. Now, when I change the label color, I can also do that with any one of these as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and just insert one more label and call it meats. And I'm changing the label just by double clicking my label row. I'll give it the same back color I've been doing before. There we go. Now, I'm only trading on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the rest of these. And I'm going to do it by right clicking and going to delete. If you have data from a previous day or you think outdated data, you can right click a row and go to clear, and then you can insert in your symbol again. A fast way to delete all these rows is I have several is just to click the first one, hold down shift, and click the last one, and right click, and go to delete. And then I can remove all the ones that I have there. So now we just have the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Let's go over reordering these columns. I'm going to right click the column labels up here at the top, and I'm going to go to Add Remove Columns. And here, there's some that aren't currently showing, such as Open Interest and the VWAP. I would like to see those. And in fact, I'd like Open Interest to be more visible on my window. And to reorder it, I can just select them. They'll be highlighted blue. And then I can move it up or down. I can also, if I wanted to go back just the way it came, click default, and it'll just show the current default stuff, just some basic information, and then I can go back and add whatever I want to see again. And if you're having troubles because when you minimize the window or maximize it, these either they become hard to see or you have more space and you'd like to see more, you can go to size columns to fit window and they'll go to the size of the window.
that's all pretty straightforward. Now, in order to insert enter trades from the quilt board, there's four different ways you can do it. You can select what you'd like to trade and right click and go to order book and it will pull up a window with the symbol that you're wanting to trade and the level 2 data here and you can insert your trades that way. However, you can also via this little show order defaults button at the bottom you can also click that, select your account, and insert your default quantity. And there's three other ways you can ways you can quickly enter a trade. So if I want to trade the S&P, and I have this set down here, I can click on the bid or offer size, and it'll pull up automatically this little window to just insert one trade. On the buy side, the background will be blue, and on the sell side, it's going to be a light pink. I can also have a row selected and just hover over these, this offer and bid here, and I can select a limit order. And you can even scroll down and choose your price. And you can do the same on offer side over here. And the final way is to just select a row and enter either plus for a long order, and you'll get this more specific order screen, or I can enter minus, and it'll do a short order form. You can, of course, make it faster and turn off confirmations, but that, of course, is riskier because you could accidentally click something and then be in a trade you don't want to be in. The final thing to go over is adding new instruments to your quilt board. There's several ways to do it. I'm going to click down here on my last row and click insert by going to right click and then insert. From there, I can either type in the symbol if I know what it is. And of course, you'll have to have the exchange behind it. I believe I'm doing that wrong. And if you run into this situation where you can't find the symbol, you can right click and go to search and add, and you can simply search for the symbol. In this case, I'm looking for the Russell. So I'm going to go to symbol here and search by what it begins with and see if I can't find it. And here it is down here. I want the June contract, so I'll click Add. And if you look over here behind the screen, if it's possible to get this smaller here, you can see that when I click Add, it gets added. And I, I can search by description as well. So that's it. That's the quote board in Rhythmic Trader. In future videos, we're going to go over all these different types of screens that you can pull up. Thanks for watching.